Hello everybody, this is Your Live My Hands, and today we're going to be trying to make something. So, I don't actually know the name of the dish, I would have to look it back up, but I believe it's a um, dish from the area of like Denmark, Poland, Switzerland, stuff like that. And um, it's a real basic wintertime dish apparently, where you take some potatoes, you have onions, uh, usually kielbasa or some kind of like salted real high umami flavored like meat and you layer it together and you um you cook them or bake them and uh it's supposed to be like a like a real winter time dish from back in the day and the reason i wanted to make this was just because uh i'm kind of have like a past or a um a family legacy from uh you know like the dutch heritage kind of line so i figured you know what i try to make it i can't remember the name i'm sure somebody will remember it and the other part i wanted to throw in here was some of these, uh, like the blood and liver uh, sausages and um, got all those diced up. So those will be layered in there also because I love the flavor of these and I think it'll probably add a nice texture to the dish. So that will be put into the cast iron pan and then that will be baked. So I'm going to start layering this and uh, we'll see how it comes out. I don't know that it's a pretty big pan. I may not be able to get a nice, you know, layer on there, but we'll see what happens with it. Alrighty. So that did not take long. And it didn't actually use up all the stuff. I just ate the rest of the uh, kielbasa. So um, that was actually pretty easy. Uh, there was no rhyme or reason to the order of how things went in. And um, yeah, so I'm not sure exactly how long to bake it. Once again, I'm experimenting. We're, we're just creating something here. And I don't, I think like a, some of the traditional recipes I read, once you layered it, you put some butter on it. Um, I'm not going to do that because I get a feeling this is going to be pretty oily anyways. So we'll just see how it turns out. Once again, we're experimenting. I'm also not gonna salt this yet. So I am gonna use, uh, from Trader Joe's, some green goodness seasoning blend, just some onions and garlic and um, just a whole bunch of stuff in there. And I think that'll look nice as a little bit of greenery on top. I'm also gonna add some of this mushroom powder. And this stuff is really good from Trader Joe's. I actually highly recommend it. And I think it'll give it a nice little boost of flavor, of course. Pepper, can't go wrong with that. And I'm gonna add a few of these once again for color and for a little bit of heat. I'm sure I could use like a cayenne pepper or something like that, but I think that that'll look a little better. Uh, so we're gonna get this seasoned up and then I'm going to put it in the oven for about 400 and just let it start baking. I'm kind of assuming the onions are mostly gonna like caramelize a little bit or just get real soft. And I'm really just gonna be looking for like either this one or this one, probably that one. Uh, I wanna see how soft they get, and that'll be my judge for like when it's done. Um, I don't think it's gonna take too long in this current fashion. Uh, so we're gonna see, let me get this seasoned up and we'll toss it in. All right, and here it is all seasoned up. It actually looks kind of pretty. It would have probably looked a lot better if I had done some, take some more time and not slice the kielbasa kind of like sticks. Um, so yeah, while I was waiting for the oven to heat up, I decided to, um, Look up the name of this stuff again, that, that liver sausage. And uh, Braunschweiger is what it is called. And um, I, I feel if I actually had a good German accent, that would be really good. So anyways, this thing is uh, ready to go. I'm gonna put it in the oven and I'm just gonna check on it periodically. And my, like I said, my indicator is gonna be that these things are softened. They don't have to be mush, but I want them to be pretty, pretty softened. And uh, we will see how it goes. I like creating stuff. So here it is. This is about after about an hour and 15 minutes. So a couple initial thoughts. Um, I oiled the pan pretty heavily uh, before I put everything in there. And I was not sure, I was like, maybe I should put like a little bit of like water or broth or even like a little bit of a beer in the bottom of it just to keep things moist. I decided not to do that, but uh, it turned out okay. Um, and there definitely was a little bit of burnage on the bottom. So if you added another liquid in here, it would not have been a problem. Also, I ended up uh, putting foil over this within the first few minutes because I was kind of noticing that the uh, meat was gonna brown pretty quickly. So I ended up foil covering it. And I think with the liquid in the bottom, it'll help kind of like steam everything instead of uh, bake it so hard. So that was the initial thoughts, but I wanna try this with everything on it. So I got onion in there, the potato, the um, the Braunschweiger and then some of the Polish sausage. Let's see how it tastes. Mm. 
Mm. That is very good. Very, very good. Um, it definitely could use salt. So you were not going to, I mean, potatoes pretty much neutralize salt. So you're not going to be wrong for salting it a little bit. And if I make this again, which I probably will, uh, especially because it's kind of like wintertime and it's a, just a kind of real basic good food, um, you would not be wrong for putting a little bit of liquid in the bottom of this. But once again, this was an experiment and that's why I'm doing it like this. Uh, the Braunschweiger is um, very good. I do prefer it cold, but it maintains pretty much the same taste. And on certain parts where it actually had a little bit of browning like right there, uh, it does have a real good flavor to it and a little bit of crispiness also. So not bad at all. I will be looking forward to trying this again. And uh, it is just a very basic but flavorful meal. I, I definitely recommend this. Anyways, hope somebody learned something or enjoyed the experiment. Talk to you all later.